Jamaican man wanted for murder Eldin K. Mandeported. The Jamaica Constabulary Force is reporting that Rudolph Baxter Shaw is now in the custody of the Jamaican police. Shaw was deported to Jamaica on Wednesday morning after he was captured in the Cayman Islands on Friday, July 8. Shaw of Homestead in Spanish Town St. Catherine was listed among 11 wanted men for the parish in June. He was wanted for murder and shooting with intent in relation to two incidents committed at 31 St. John's Road in the parish in September 2021 and May 2022, as well as the murder of Romaine Robinson committed in April 2019. Teen among two dead after six people shot in Clarendon. Clarendon, Jamaica, two people including a 16-year-old boy were killed and four others injured in a gun attack at a shop at 8 Clarendon on Tuesday night. The deceased have been identified as 40-year-old laborer Christopher Romani, otherwise called Lucky, and a 16-year-old student, Demara Gibson, both of A's. Reports are that about 8.45 p.m. Romani and Gibson were among a group of people at a shot playing dominoes when a silver Toyota Axi motor car drove up and gunmen alighted from the vehicle and opened fire at the gathering. When the shooting ended, the gunmen fled. It was discovered that six people were shot. They were rushed to hospital where Romani and Gibson were pronounced dead and the others admitted. Artists shot dead in Manchester. Manchester, Jamaica police have proven the shooting deaths of a dancehall artist in Russell Place, Manchester on Wednesday morning. He has so far only been identified as Elegant Scott, a St. Elizabeth-based entertainer. Shane McCullough, head of the Manchester police, confirmed that the entertainer was in a motor car when he was shot. Further reports suggested that a woman who was also in the vehicle was not armed. Police theorize that the killing is linked to the illicit activities in St. Elizabeth. The entertainer was pronounced dead at hospital. Two St. Anne men facing multiple charges after kidnapping eight-month-old baby. St. Anne, Jamaica, two men have been arrested and charged with illegal possession of firearm burglary, unlawful wounding and assault at common law after breaking into a house at Manfield Heights in Ocho Rio St. Anne on Friday, July 22 and taking an eight-month-old child. Charge are 21-year-old Kevin Lyons, a laborer of Buckfield St. Anne, and 21-year-old Nickel Grandison of Tule District in Mansfield Heights. Reports are that about 11 p.m., three armed men broke into the home of a woman and left with the baby after stabbing the complainant son in the side. Grandison and Lyon was later arrested and charged on Sunday, July 24. <music> At Grand Godzilla, as is to say about Beanie Oh good, so you did it on purpose. I'm glad to know that. Well, let me tell you this. From now, we aren't no friends anymore from today. So stay away from me because I didn't know that we was a duo. So if I had walk off stage, it took away from your shine. Did you mention that you wanted us to perform together before? Did you even acknowledge me in the venue? Did I know nothing about what you had intended to do? No. You came to pour us this Sunday. I was there before you. You came, saw me, and what you did, hold your head and walk past me. You did heal me? No. So what the did you think at the rehearsal? What did you expect me to do? Heal you either? You feeling yourself, so you need to done anything or anything, you're bad being a man. Mm -hmm.